السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في second year medical students welcome to your uh, academic English course module 3 and this is Dr. Aman Abdel Fattah assistant professor of tropical medicine speaking to you uh, the lecture of today is about uh, unit 5 the environment uh, in your radical writing book The learning objectives in this unit, you have to watch and listen, understand a video about global warming, and reading skills, learn how to scan, to find the details, uh, detailed pieces of information quickly, and um, uh, academic writing skills, write the topic sentence, and writing task, write to cause effect paragraphs. Uh, for the students who are listening to this uh, lecture alone at home, um, you will not be able to um, go through these discussions and discuss the questions uh, so uh, the discussions uh, will be like missed from you please I strongly recommend that you uh, do uh, listen to this lecture with a group of your friends so that you will be able to um, do the discussions and uh, practice the discussions with your partners uh, this is very critical to maximize the use of uh, from this lecture uh, three questions to help you unlock your knowledge is the weather changing in your country how have humans affected the environment and why should we care about the environment now try to discuss this with your friends before listening to before uh, listening to the, the the next slide the environmental change affect almost every country in the world it's always a hot topic around the world and the, the, the changes in the weather that are related to the pollution and the, the, um, the greenhouse phenomenon uh, are marvelous and they are always a hot topic. And the environmental changes usually are a result of human activity, of course. Uh, of course, the burning the fossil fuels and, um, and the carbon dioxide that is emitted due to, during the daily activities, human activities. Uh, is the, the main risk factor for the weather change that affect the environment uh, around the world and these whatever toxic product that you throw away whatever the thing that you throw away it finds the way back to you it affects your life through uh, affecting your health and affecting your food and that's why we should all care about the environmental changes and the, the pollution a look at these pictures uh, you see here and try to answer the questions what are the glaciers that's you're going to, wa to watch a video about the glaciers and uh, what do you think a glacier is and where can you find them and what's happening to them and uh, what do you think uh, the cause of uh, what do you think is the cause of this change to the glaciers uh, try to uh, discuss these uh, uh, the questions with your partner and I hope that you will find uh, uh, a partner to listen to this lecture with because this will help you uh, do your discussions. Now check your answers. A large mass of ice which moves slowly usually down a slope or a valley that's a glacier. Large masses of ice that move slowly. They are found at north and south poles on the top of the mountains in the mountain ranges and on uh, uh, on earth and on mars these are uh, the glaciers and it's melting and falling into the sea uh, that's the what's happening to the glaciers and why is this happening probably because of the global warming now work with your partner and try to answer this question what making inference mean is uh, these uh, these questions are uh, asking about uh, certain pieces of information that are not mentioned directly in the video uh, but they are but you can infer you can understand them from uh, from the the from what the speaker says it's not though it's not mentioned uh, directly uh, so you can infer you can make an inference about this information so please the speaker says that please think about them the speaker says that every glacier is in balance it's not in if it's not in balance it will melt the glaciers are melting so what part of the balance is wrong does the video claim that humans are responsible for the glacier melting how long have the alaskan glaciers been there now check your answers the glacier is melting down because the amount of snow that falls on it during winter is less than the amount of ice that melts during summer. 
does uh, the video uh, say that the humans are responsible for uh, the melting of glaciers directly no it doesn't say that uh, they have been there for three million years again work with your partner discuss these questions there's no correct answer for this question uh, that's a discussion an open discussion everyone can say his opinion do you think climate change is the result of human activity whose responsibility is to try to stop climate changing what steps can companies and governments take to reduce the problems of the climate change what steps can you take individually to help to protect the environment you can discuss uh, these questions together with your partners and uh, I will give you some ideas to help you with the dis with discussion some ideas to help you with the discussion most scientists believe that global warming is caused by human activities why would they believe so because burning fossil fuels usually emits gases like carbon dioxide which are responsible for the greenhouse phenomenon that leads to global warming and uh, the global warming uh, actually uh, leads to the, the 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 will eventually lead to uh, breaking down and melting of the glaciers in both north and south poles and raising uh, the sea level everyone has a responsibility to stop that you can be yourself um, an environment friendly person or an environment unfriendly person uh, what government can do they can invest in clean energy sources and reduce the carbon dioxide emissions and you can buy less products and use less energy and use recycling and be less harmful to the environment yourself now to reading more uh, look at this picture our changing planet the Upsala, the Upsala glacier in Argentina now we're preparing to read now use your knowledge to predict the content after you have looked at the photograph of the uh, Upsala uh, glacier and uh, answer the questions uh, what has happened to the glacier? How long did this transformation take? What do you think happened to the water? How do you think this will affect the world? What do you think happened to the glacier? It melted down. How long did this transformation take? It has melted away. Uh, that change took 76 years, in fact. Some water has stayed in as lakes, lakes, but most of it has flown to the sea. And what happened uh, after that? The sea level is rising. Uh, scan the article for specific pieces of information. Do you know what scanning is? Scanning is uh, that you are looking quickly with your eyes, glancing quickly with your eyes around the article, so that you find a specific piece of information. Here, the, most of the, the the sentences from one to seven contains a figure, a number. Uh, if you are going to uh, find what this number is about, try to um, glance with your eyes, searching for that figure. And uh, in the sentence, in the same sentence, uh, find this, uh, read the sentence that um, includes the figure and you will be able to complete uh, the sentences from one to seven. And you have 10 seconds to do that. I try to do that as quick as you can because actually this is what scanning is all about. It's about finding information quickly. I found them okay the first one to find the the all the seven have a prize is a is a winner uh, scanning is done by glancing with your eyes or through the text so uh, you try to find the figures the numbers and after you find you read the sentence in which you found it and to link it to something uh, so uh, now check your answers one co2 levels two global sea levels three mangrove forests Global temperature for five agriculture, six extinction, seven coral reefs. 
Uh, making inferences uh, means reading between lines to uh, deeply understand what the article is about and uh, what, uh, uh, to answer this question you have to have uh, a deep understanding. Such informations are not mentioned in the article, uh, uh, like specifically mentioned in the article, but you can understand that, you can infer that from what you read. What did the author write? Why did the author write the leaflet? To inform the reader about the causes and effects of climate change? to educate the reader about how to stop climate change, to convince people to sign a petition about using renewable, renewable fuels. What do you think is the correct uh, choice? Uh, yes, the correct answer is uh, C, uh, to convince people to sign a petition to use the renewable fuels. Now to the discussion. Discuss with your friends. Are there any advantages to the new uh, Northwest Passage? Are there any disadvantages to using renewable energy like solar energy or wind power? Why don't governments, corporations, and individuals do more to help prevent global warming? Uh, now have your time to discuss this, and I will give you ideas to help you with the discussion. The Northway Passage will be an alternative global shipping route joining the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, alternative to the Panama Canal. The, the solar panels are effective in direct sunlight and the wind turbines need strong wind that disadvantages of using renewable energy. Solar panels uh, are, are effective in, in lands like Egypt where the sun, uh, where there's always direct sunlight and, uh, effect, and wind turbines are effective when there is strong wind. If you have strong wind in your country or you have direct sunlight in your country, you will not be able to use them um, effectively and people will react immediately to whatever have an immediate impact on human life. Uh, that's um, some ideas are some ideas to help you with a discussion with your partner. I hope that you add more of your own uh, as you uh, discuss and please give me feedback uh, about uh, the how did your discussions go. Reading 2. Uh, now we're preparing to read. Uh, look at the photograph and the title of the journal uh, extract on page 94 and try to answer the questions. Why are the trees important to the environment? Why do people cut down trees? What will happen when we destroy too many trees? That's the picture that you should be looking at. What are the causes of deforestation and what are its effects on the natural environment? that protects the ground is removed during the crop growing process. This can cause flooding problems and heavy rain. A large scale is sure to have disastrous effects for the environment. That's part of an article written in a journal. It's about deforestation and cutting down trees. Um, now try to answer the previous questions and use your knowledge to predict the contents of the, contents of the article and discuss your answers with your friends. Now check your answers. The trees take carbon dioxide are very important to the environment because they take carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Oxygen, this can prevent global warming because you know uh, uh, carbon dioxide is one of the most important greenhouse gases. Provide food and shelter for animals and prevent erosion of the lands. Uh, what, why are trees used for, for timber, for wood and to clear the lands for construction or for agriculture? Lots of animals will lose, but well, that's what's going to happen if we keep cutting the trees and forests. Lots of animals will lose its shelter, and losing the shelter will lead to uh, extinction sometimes, and the carbon dioxide will accumulate, causing more and more global warming. So the trees are very important for the balance in, in the environment and cutting down trees um, at this rate will uh, eventually destroy uh, uh, or, have, uh, or have a big impact on our uh, life as humans. Uh, understanding the key vocabulary is very important to you before you go read the article. Uh, we are going to match these words and phrases uh, in uh, from 1 to 9 to their definitions from A to I. Uh, flooding means when an area is covered, by in, uh, covered in water, D. Erosion means 
uh, gradual damage and removal of soil uh, stone uh, by sea rain or wind uh, deforestation means when all trees in a large area are cut down subsistence farming means farming that only provides enough food for farmers and their families to live on absorb to take something gradually in especially gradually biodiversity when all the tree where when when animals uh, biodiversity means uh, the number and types of plant and animal species that exist in a particular area uh, logging means uh, cutting down trees for wood grazing means when all uh, when animals feed on grass or plants uh, livestock uh, cattle or other farm animals and if uh, now again check your answers 1d 3 2i 3a 4g 5h 6c 7e 8b 9f now let's try after reading the journal extract on page 91 complete the summary below using the words in the books the essay discusses the human causes of deforestation yes and the effects on the environment trees are removed for grazing of livestock and growing crops yes like soy and balm oil subsistence farmers traditionally leave the land for a decade what what's the meaning of decade decade means 10 years before using before reusing it but if the land is constantly reused it results in erosion of the soil deforestation contributes to global warming because it dries out the trees causing forest fires forest fires that another common collocation that's used without uh, an article that or a forest fires uh, it affects biodiversity because it leads to loss of habitat governments should make sure forests are protected from lobbying logging uh, deforestation will have terrible consequences for the environment now check your answers again have you answered them have we answered them correctly yes we did okay well done now read for the details i want you to read the article uh, in details and correct the, fact, the factual mistakes. In Indonesia, trees are cut down to make way for olive oil plantations. Subsistence farmers can graze livestock on their land for 10 years. The rainforests of the Amazon cover uh, an area uh, 25 times the size of USA. Deforestation protects the future sources of food and medicine. Governments should plant more trees to absorb oxygen. Small scale deforestation will have disastrous effects for the environment. Uh, try to correct these factual mistakes. Check your answers. Um, they uh, plant palm oil, not olive oil. Uh, three years, they graze for three years, not ten. Uh, it's the size of UK, not USA. Uh, destroys uh, it destroys uh, the the sources of uh, medicine and uh, sources of uh, uh, of the products of the trees. It destroys, not protects. It takes carbon dioxide, not oxygen. It's uh, large scale, not small scale. And uh, now making inferences again, reading between lines. Uh, work with a part and try to answer these questions. What does the writer mean by phrases industrial logging and commercial agriculture? Why will there be more logging if forests dry out? Why does forestation reduce future sources of food and medicine? The writer suggests that this is a large scale business operation. The trees will become fire risks so they will need to be cut down that deforestation will make them more fire risks and they will lead to more logging more destruction of the trees 
There may be many animals and plant species that remain undiscovered in the rainforest, discovering them as possibilities of discovering crops and remedies before they become extinct. So if you destroy that habitat, you will destroy these animal species and destroy these plants and of course will destroy the future possibilities of what they can provide you with. Discussions again. The role of the partner you will have to have a partner sitting near to you as you listen to this lecture to help you to do your discussions if a product service or behavior designed not to do harm to the environment we say it's environmentally friendly what do you think you are environmentally friendly or not what do you think do you think that you are an environmentally an environmentally friendly person who follows every environmentally friendly um, maneuver that will help improve your environment or uh, otherwise you're not an age uh, the, the topic of being environmentally friendly is not on your list um, you do not care about the environment uh, you just follow uh, what you used to do without uh, paying attention to uh, whether it's damaging your environment or not what measure could the government take to stop human damaging the natural environment What's the most important environmental problem in your country? And please discuss this with your partner. Being environmentally friendly means uh, you take a decision of buying or not, or not a certain product based on how harmful to the environment it is. Uh, you know, for, for instance, such as uh, uh, hair sprays, body sprays, cleaning detergents, air fresheners, air conditioners, refrigerator, plastic products, etc. Et um, would you rather buy uh, the ones that are labeled to be environmentally friendly, no matter what the price would be? Uh, sometimes you just uh, pick it up uh, because uh, they are a feasible, kind of a little bit cheap, but you do not pay attention to whether they are environmentally friendly or not. Uh, what makes you an environmentally friendly person uh, is uh, decisions like these make you an environmentally friendly person. Another thing is, is uh, do you care about recycling? Do you think about recycling? Do you think about uh, keeping your, um, your uh, garbage sorted for recycling? That's another behavior uh, that actually makes uh, a person environmentally friendly. Uh, the government can put restrictions on the activities and products that harm the environment. They can also put investments in clean energy, that's the role of the government. Uh, actually, um, you know that Cairo comes second in air pollution and first in noise pollution among the capitals of the world. So this is a very hot topic, actually, in Egypt. It's not just something uh, that you can take, um, okay, we don't have that problem, no. We have a serious problem, serious pollution serious environmental problems in Egypt and we need to take care of that you need to start to changing your behavior from now on if you want to live in a clean environment uh, language development in this uh, unit uh, have uh, two things uh, some uh, academic uh, um, vocabulary to help you uh, replace your day-to-day uh, -day, uh, informal vocabulary with academic uh, one and some uh, topic uh, vocabulary and common collocations. Uh, academic vocabulary, uh, annual, issue, predict, challenge, areas, trend, consequences. Uh, these are the uh, vocabulary that uh, can be uh, used in academic context and in this exercise uh, you will learn to replace uh, the uh, non-academic um, uh, in for other informal uh, word with an academic word uh, the most serious problem that threatens the environment is climate change uh, you can change a problem for issue experts think that there will be there will not be enough fresh water in the future Think can be changed to predict that's more academic pollution and climate change are effects of human activities you can use the word consequences as instead uh, instead of uh, effects uh, fortunately the patterns is for the pattern is for more recycling and less packaging you can change pattern with um, trend 
the trend is for more recycling and less packaging. Uh, in some uh, places, the glaciers have melted or even disappeared as a result of higher temperature. There are some places you can uh, use areas that sounds more uh, formal and more academic. The 12 months rate of deforestation, that's the annual rate, the year to year rate means the annual, the word annual is academic for 12 months or a year rate. Uh, biggest test we face to protect the planets, the biggest challenge, that's more formal and more academic. Check the answers. Now to the topic vocabulary. Complete the collocation. What's the collocation? Collocation they are two words that usually come together, that they have a meaning when they are put together, like the word greenhouse, global warming. Uh, let's see here. You have uh, some missing letters, uh, missing vowels in these, uh, um, and some words in these. Um, uh, uh, sentences and if we complete them you will end up uh, finding the most important uh, collocations that were mentioned in this uh, unit renewable one if we change to renewable energy instead of using fossil fuels we can reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere global warming is caused by increase in the greenhouse in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere the natural environment is being affected by human activity. Deforestation caused by cutting down trees is leading to climate change. Illegal logging is having a serious effect on the Amazonian rainforest. Rainforest Substance, subsistence farming in rainforests causes damage to the soil. We must take action to prevent any more environmental disasters uh, to make it easy to understand what's a collocation a collocation these are words which are regularly used together uh, the relation between the words may be grammatical for example when a certain verb or an adjective collocate with a particular preposition like depend on good at or when a verb like make or do collocate with a noun do the shopping make a plan you cannot just change that that's a collocation they always come together they mean they have a meaning together so that's a common regularly they are regularly used together and they should be used together uh, the collocation may also be do the laundry like this uh, collocation may be also lexical when two content words are regularly used together like wrong way Greenhouse, and we have uh, in the previous exercise we had uh, so many examples of these uh, lexical collocations of two words that regularly used together, um, uh, and I will uh, explain that more and more in the next slide. Renewable energy. That's a collocation. Fossil fuels that's uh, petrol oil and uh, and natural gas global warming greenhouse gases notice that collocation greenhouse they are used together the uh, the greenhouse it's the place when you uh, uh, build a house uh, from uh, a material like glass uh, to maintain a higher temperature suitable for producing um, uh, certain crops or, uh, or planting certain crops or certain plants inside them. That's a greenhouse. Greenhouse gases is another collocation. Uh, notice how the greenhouse, uh, the two words are, are two different words. They are regularly used together to the limit that sometimes they are written as one word without even a hyphen between them. So that's an example of a very common collocation, greenhouse. And uh, uh, greenhouse gases is another collocation. Natural environment, human activity, climate change, rainforest. Another example of how often if, uh, if the two words are used together, so often sometimes they are written as one word. Rainforest, uh, it's the, uh, that deep 
rainy forest uh, around the tropics if you know what I mean in um, in tropical areas there are very uh, uh, um, uh, large trees with heavy rain all over the year that's called the tropical rainforest uh, rainforest uh, rain uh, rain and forest are two different words they are used together uh, so often that they are some that they are uh, now are written as one word rainforest so sisters farming environmental disasters these are examples of the lexical collocations, the very common ones that are mentioned here in this uh, uh, in this unit. And um, uh, you want to be um, you ha you want to have a tip about this uh, collocation. If you want to learn uh, some, uh, if you want to learn about it, uh, you will have to know that this is a collocation. So you will not end up replacing one of these. Um, uh, words with another word because it will, be, it will not be correct it just should be written and dealt with as it is and uh, if it doesn't uh, if it have to have an uh, if it's a mass uh, uncountable noun it doesn't have to have an article before it like uh, global warming you should just not say you wouldn't say the global warming warming or a global warming uh, so you have to look it up in the dictionary to make sure about the article that's used before it so uh, good luck uh, with using uh, this collocation and understanding uh, what they mean and uh, good luck with your uh, studies uh, thank you for your listening